Welcome to the Mudbody Service Series. Uh, my name is Enrique. I'm the lead tech here at Mudbody. And today I'm going to show you how to properly tension your belt. So I have already removed the clutch cover. Uh, as you saw, I took the plug out. Um, the bolts in the back and back here behind the clutch, you just have to loosen them. Maybe a, uh, maybe a turn, turn and a half. It's just enough for the, for the belt. Um, housing to slide up and down. So let's go ahead and start tensioning this belt. For this you are going to need two 916 wrenches. And we're gonna go back here. You, you guys all know, they, I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with the tensioning bolt. Just hold on to the nut at the top. And we're going to screw the top the bolt, I'm sorry, the bolt, we're gonna screw it out towards the top. Once you start feeling tension, maybe do two or three turns, and then spin the prop, or you can also spin the clutch or transmission. Now, I got, here at the factory we do it several ways, but you guys, what are you gonna have to do? Just get the belt tensioner from backwaterperformance.com or uh, over the phone called Travis. On this tensioner, you have two, two measurements. We have centimeter, centimeters and we have inches. We will use the inches and we'll use the pounds. This is the important one. Like I said, you'll see pounds. When you get this, um, a really useful tip, take some um, tape, just clear tape, and just tape it uh, over the inch side. That is because when you put it into the, into the threads, it's, gonna, it's probably gonna scratch it, and eventually it's going to take the notches and the marks. It's gonna be off, and then it's gonna re be really hard to read. Then you're gonna have to buy another one. So just grab some clear tape, put it over the the measurement the inch side and that'll save you the hassle of having to buy another one okay so i tighten the belt a little bit like i said you start feeling the tensioning when with the bolt going up so we're gonna spin it actually you want to spin it in the direction that the crankshaft is turning okay so we are going to put this in here in the into the into the side hole and like I said um, just put some tape so this is this is important you're gonna use as a reference the outside wall of the of the belt housing okay we touch the belt and you're gonna use as a reference the first um, the notch that is lining up with the outside wall now we're gonna make sure that this o-ring is all the way to the on the on the bottom of the, this little shaft and then we're gonna push on this particular belt this is the um, obviously you know the the new belts that we're using now which is the red and red and black this particular belt we're gonna push it we want 5 16 deflection so you want to push it five notches and this measurement right here has to be 18 no more than 19 if you have 19 you are on the on the high side but the 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 good number is going to be 18 so line up the notch right there and then we push it in count five notches which is um, five sixteenths of an inch and we have as you can see right here we are on 20 so I am way too tight okay loosen this up a little bit I'm gonna do maybe one and one turn, one full turn on that. Then we go ahead and spin it. Just so the belt falls into place. Okay, we try one more time. We do it right there. One, two, four, five. 
this time I got 15 so just because I don't trust my counting I'm gonna do it again it's better doing two or three times right now than five okay so I got 16 maybe so I'm just gonna go and do it I got 16 I'm just gonna do maybe one more turn well not a turn just one more push okay enough okay here we go all right I got it at 17 I'm gonna leave it right there and I will tell you why I'm gonna leave it at 17 because by the time I tighten all the bolts the eight bolts that I have in here this this plate is just going to it's gonna align everything um, it's gonna pull it back a little bit it's whatever it's doing the belt tension is get, it's trying to get everything together so once I tighten the the bolts up here on the base plate and on the bottom brackets it's gonna line everything up and that's where the other pat one pound difference you'll no, you'll notice um, okay so before I do that the brand new tension on a, on a black and yellow belt is going to be a quarter inch deflection so four notches in the in the in the pounds side quarter inch deflection and the same it's going to be 18 maximum 19 18 is the is the perfect number so black and red five sixteenths of an inch 18 pounds yellow uh, black and yellow quarter inch 18 pounds um, for a used belt that's got over 50 hours let's say that I just measured it and for whatever reason I got eight pounds um, I just I'm gonna go ahead and do all this and retension it 5 sixteenths at 15 pounds used belt over 50 hours if you have below 12 pounds retension it at 15 and that'll get you going now what happens if you go 20 pounds on a brand new belt then bad news um, the best case scenario you will ruin the bearings either below I mean on the on the drive or the clutch worst case scenario you're gonna ruin the bearings and those bearings are gonna ruin your crankshaft and then that's a very expensive fix so 19 pounds for brand new ones 15 pounds for uh, used over 50 hours um, okay, so I have retention all this. I'm gonna go ahead and start tightening everything up again. And I'm going to start from the bottom. You have four bolts. You guys know we're gonna do the crisscross. Okay, so I just tighten all that stuff. I'm gonna spin it one more time. Recheck my tension again. Okay, 18 pounds. And that's it. That's how you retention your belt. last step and this is actually pretty important this little knot right here we're gonna lock the belt tensioner so 
this one right here. You just want to go. Make sure this is tight. So it doesn't move. And that's it. Your belt is tensioned. You can go just to back out of the water. Um, if you guys have any questions, we have the chat. We have Facebook Messenger. We have we are on the phones. We have email. We cannot hide from you. Um, please like, share it, subscribe to the to this. Um, and if you have any comments, questions, you know where to find us. You guys be safe out there, and um, we'll see you next time.